Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we got Candace Owens, and she is going in, I mean, hard. You thought Ray J went in hard. No, Candace Owens told Chris Jenner and Kim up. She lit them up, all right? And like I said, I didn't really report too much on Ray J having a fit about Kim and her mom and the sex tape. Because I really think they in the bed with each other. You know what I'm saying? They want to keep each other's name going, circulating, so people can, you know, uh, look up who they are and run up their algorithms when it comes to their particular format or social media platform that they go on when they want to let the public know what they're doing. Because... If anybody had half of a mind, if he really felt the way he felt, and he want, didn't want to be shown in the light they're trying to show him in, there's a little thing called the law. There's a little thing called defamation of character uh, and all the other things that go with that. He knows a lot of people, and I'm sure they could connect him with the right lawyers. Why isn't he sending her cease and desist letters, or better yet, suing her? Because it seems to be a growing trend uh, this year, last year, and probably the upcoming years. Everybody wants to sue everybody for whatever reason, okay? That's the new blasting someone out is suing someone, okay? So my thing is, uh, that's why I didn't really get or try to do anything on Ray J. Because to me, he's just a clown. A, a real 30-something-year-old, is he 40-something-year-old clown. That's what he acting like out in these streets, a clown. And to me, I think that sex tape helped in his career as well, getting exposed. But that's neither here nor there. <coughs> but now you know how I feel about Ray J and him coming out the, or claimingly, seemingly, like he's coming out the Kim and her mama and want to set the rules straight. Child, please, baby, boom. Moving on from that all together. Look at my hands on. Man, she was calling uh, Chris Jenner a pimp. Yes, she was. Said she was pimping out her own daughter. And I was like, well, let me think about that. How did Kim get her start in the social media world? And she went from the sex tape to getting with Kanye West. Okay, so it seemed like she did fairly well. Okay, because the show did contemplated her likability or just checking to see who she is. It went into Mars and Jupiter. Okay. Went around the sun and came back down here on Earth. <coughs> and she's been doing her thing ever since. Calling the Kardashians show. Wanting to see what the Kardashians are doing. How they are faring. And putting it out on TV for them, meaning us, to enjoy. I ain't got two shits to give when it comes to Kim Kardashian and her comings and goings. Not really. Unless she's out there getting dragged or... She's doing something very stupid, and people are calling her out for it. Because Kim has always done that. She's always capitalized on black people's work, pretty much. And Kris Jenner was the manager or momager of the, all of the comings and goings and making her a million-dollar baby. Okay, or a billion-dollar baby. I think she's a million-dollar baby. She ain't no billion-dollar baby. But all of it stems on sexuality sex nudity just showing your body leaving no imagination to it so but let's get into what candy owens had to say because she said a mouthful y'all she said a mouthful and i could not go against the or how she presented it or how she said it because to me it seems to be accurately true okay <coughs> here we go There are, are really no words that can adequately describe how positively disgusted 
I am by this story and what this signifies for the in terms of the world that we are in today, what this really means that a mother sat down and decided to sell her daughter's body for fame and money, and she was successful, right? But there are two, two things here that we need to remember. Not only did she do it, not only should we be completely disgusted by the idea that a mother, I just had a daughter, that a mother would sit down and watch various tapes of her daughter having sex with a boyfriend out of wedlock, and then say, let's sell this tape this is the best one. You look the best in this tape. This will make you the most famous. Not only is that disgusting, but then that her plan worked. Kim Kardashian is a billionaire today. And she's, by the way, still selling sex. I, I now hold the opinion that Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. And I'm not going to edit this opinion. Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. Her mother is a pimp. Worse than a prostitute, Kim Kardashian is a corpse. She's a body without a soul. She is so emblematic of the society that we live in today that if you are willing to degrade yourself, if you are willing to denigrate yourself, then our society, our American society will give you more, right? How much are you willing to show us of your body? How much are you willing to give us of your daughter's body? That is the price of fame, and she did it. So no, it is not an exaggeration to say uh, that Hollywood is satanic, because what could possibly be more satanic than that? What could possibly represent a more incestuous, if you will, relationship than a mother viewing her daughter's body having sex and selling it? Really no words that can... Now, how can we... How can we go from here? <laughs> she accurately... <laughs> or accurately... <clears throat> said what she said and she ain't going back on it and what she said was a mouthful okay a mouthful and i could not find any untruth to what she was saying she was spot dead on spot dead on and we all know as many people go to hollywood trying to succeed in the acting industry the music industry or just advertisement industry People would go to great lengths to be a part of the who's who and wanting everybody to be adoring, idolizing them. And you would think Hollywood would have just dried up by now because people had morality, they had character, they had morals about themselves. But no, Hollywood is still growing and thriving on all of that negative, satanic energy. But people still want to run, run. Like the escape said, who can I run to to share this empty space? Who can I run to when I need love? Yes, honey. Everybody's running to Hollywood. Well, not everybody, but the potential ones or the pretentious ones, the ones that want that Hollywood fame and fortune and notoriety. Yes, so be careful for what you wish for and be careful for what you go after because it might just cost you your life or your soul. And that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Y'all get down in them comments and you know what to do. Subscribe and like my videos. Subscribe and like my videos. And share them if you feel so inclined. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.